Next, let's look at the focus limiter settings. I like to use focus limiter when I'm photographing live events or sports. I really want to put the image focus on the stage and not include members of the audience or other players who may be in the foreground. This helps the viewer of my images feel they're really there. And it also concentrates the main focus and the main interest on the main subject of the image. So let's see how we adjust these settings. As when we adjusted the auto focus speed settings, we click on customization and then on customization mode settings. From here, we can select C1 or C2. Let's go with C2 this time. Next, we click on focus limiter settings. On the setting screen, use the two sliders to set the range of the autofocus drive. The autofocus drive range is highlighted in orange. For example, in this case, I'm going to set the minimum focus distance to 10 meters with the left slider and the maximum photo distance to 30 meters with the right. Making this setting limits autofocus drive to between 10 and 30 meters. I click on OK and we go back to the previous screen and I click on rewriting and agree. After rewriting is complete, the focus limiter for the C2 is set on 10 to 30 meters. As you can see, it's quite easy to adjust the focus limiter settings as well. You can make the settings different for the C1 and C2 buttons and use them based on the particular photographic situation. The important thing to remember here is that many Sigma lenses already have a separate focus limiter switch. But if we're using the focus limiter on the C1 or the C2 button, these take priority and the separate focus limiter switch is disabled. Okay, so now let's look at adjusting the optical stabilization settings.